Cody back for another video. So today I have a great wrestling DVD haul. It's all WWE uh, stuff from like the 2000s, but it's good stuff, you know. Um, anyways, yeah, let's get started. All right. All right, then. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight DVDs. And uh, let's start off with a real classic. It's uh, got a great main event, and that is Hulk Hogan versus Shawn Michaels for the first time ever, and probably the only time ever. I don't know, but yeah, it's awesome. It's a uh, SummerSlam, SummerSlam 2005. Pretty great stuff. <clears throat> you know, I got some great matches there. Right? Me, I'm more of an '80s and '90s wrestling fan, but I don't mind a bit of ruthless aggression as well. You know, um. I do love some Ruthless Aggression, but anything after that, I honestly don't give a shit about. Like, once the PG era came around, it just fucking ruined everything. But yeah, great stuff. SummerSlam 2005. And, uh, okay, that's SummerSlam 2005. How about Backlash 2005? Uh, yeah. Another pretty great one. Hulk Hogan's in this one, too, and Shawn Michaels. But they're actually a tag team in this one. So that's kind of cool. But, you know, great stuff. Um, yep. Yeah. Who knows, maybe one of these days I might show, um, <clears throat> my WWF, well, my wrestling, uh, TV collection. Because I have so many of the shows, like, on DVD, you know, like, fan-made sets. There's not really any exciting artwork to it, but, uh, you know, I just show what I've got, because I've got, like, full seasons of wrestling from, like, the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, so, good stuff. But, yeah, anyways, next up, one of my favorite, uh, types of pay-per-views, or that has one of my favorite types of matches, anyway. Um, not necessarily this exact one, but, you know, it's like, I really like... Anyways, it's uh, the Royal Rumble, the 2005 Royal Rumble, this one is. But yeah, I love, Ro I love Royal Rumble matches, it's great stuff. Really great stuff, I love the Royal Rumble. I just like the idea of like, 30 men enter the ring and one man survives. Like, you know, it's just like survival of fittest, it's just a really cool concept, I think. But yeah, pretty sweet. Again, Royal Royal Rumble 2005. And since this is uh, the, two that, the mid 2000s, they got the brand split. So half of them are from Raw and half of them are from SmackDown. But yeah, that's pretty cool. A uh, bunch of most of these I haven't watched yet, to be honest with you. Um, because I mainly, I'm, like I said, I, I just watch these when I ain't got much else to watch, I guess. But. You know, every now and then I want to watch some 2000s wrestling. Anyways, next up we've got Unforgiven 2004. Yeah. This one, uh, I believe Kane is in the main event. Um, let me see. Shawn Michaels versus Kane. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Not gonna lie. There's a long... I grew up during the Ruthless Aggression era, but I grew up watching uh, 80s WWF and um, Attitude Era WWF because my dad used to record this stuff off TV on tape. You know, he used to tape it off TV, so that was uh, how I originally watched wrestling. I never really watched this stuff when it came out. Like, Ruthless Aggression Era, I mean. And next up, we've got uh, Unforgiven 2002. Yeah, pretty cool. You know, 2002 was a great year. Like, my favorite eras of wrestling are the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. You know, like, basically WWF. I also love WCW and ECW. But, uh, you know, pretty cool. You got Brock Lesnar on the cover. Not bad. You got to say, that's pretty sweet. The next big thing. Yeah. And next up, we have Armageddon 2002. Shawn Michaels versus Triple H. That's going to be a damn good match. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool, I gotta say. I like it. 
I definitely like it. Man, it's crazy how much wrestling changed from like 1990 to 2000. Like in 10 years, it changed so much. It's crazy how much it changed. Like say from like 92 to 2002, for example. That's like crazy. You know what I mean? It went from Federation era to New Generation era to Attitude era to Ruthless Aggression era in like 10 years. It's crazy. But anyways, uh, that was Armageddon 2002. Next up we have, now this one I have watched, uh, Bad Blood 2003. I like this one. The main event is uh, Kevin Nash versus Triple H in a Hell in a Cell match. So that was pretty fucking badass. I love that. Of course, Kevin Nash from WCW fame. He was also Diesel in WWF before that. So that was pretty cool. And of course, Triple H, the game. But yeah, pretty sweet. Not gonna lie, it's pretty sweet. I love it. But yeah, that's awesome. Man, WWE really missed an opportunity when it comes to releasing their shows on DVD. Like, why don't they release their TV shows on DVD? They would sell. Even if you have to edit them because of, like, legal reasons. Like, they would still sell if they started selling, like, full seasons of their shows on DVD. But no, they, they, like, why? Why don't they do it? I don't understand. But anyways, next up we have, and this is the last one, we've got uh, WWE No Mercy 2003. Again, with Brock Lesnar on the cover. This is a SmackDown pay-per-view. Uh, you know, got some good matches there, right? For sure. Definitely some good matches. <clears throat> but yep. Again, complete. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, most of these are in really good shape. Like, the disc and everything. So, yeah. But yeah, guys, that about does it for today. So... If you like my content, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helped me greatly. I appreciate all of you for watching, and I will see you later. See ya!